Hi guys, this is Virendra from IDSurf. Today I am going to talk about longest increasing subsequence problem. Given an array of integers, we need to find out the longest increasing subsequence. For example, if you have an array like this, the longest increasing subsequence in this is 1, 2, 4, 9. There are many approaches to this problem. The first one that I would like to talk about is the DP solution. It is based on the longest common subsequence problem that I have discussed in another video. So to solve the longest increasing subsequence problem, what we have to do is we will sort this given original array and store it in a temporary array T. Okay, that will amount to around order of n log n. After we have the temporary array T, which is the sorted version of X, we will take X and T and find a common subsequence between X and T. If you work this two operations out, you will see that you will get the longest increasing subsequence. We can definitely do better than this. There are two more approaches that I want to discuss. The first one is using patient sorting. This particular type of a sort is used in solitaire game which in turn can be used for finding out the longest increasing subsequence. This one I am not going to discuss in this video. I will create a separate video for this. What I will do is I will go ahead and discuss the last approach which is based on binary search and arrays. In this approach I will be going through the original array and taking one element at a time and putting it into an increasing subsequence array. While filling up this increasing subsequence, I am going to follow two rules. First, case is where current element that we are looking at in the original array is greater than all the elements in the increasing subsequence array. It is basically greater than the last element in the subsequence array. In that case, I will just append the element to the existing subsequence. Okay. The second case is where the current is less than or equal to the last element. In that case what will happen? I will try to find a place for that current element inside this existing subsequence that I have. Once I find the place, I will just replace the element in that place with the current element that I have. I will explain that in later point in the algorithm why we are doing that, why we are replacing instead of creating a separate place for the element. Notice that I have shortened the rules for you. The rule one is append if greater, if the current element is greater. Second rule is replace if it is smaller. So the first element is 3. Since there are no elements in the increasing subsequence array, we will be appending. Okay. So we have 3 here. Also notice that I have put down 3 here because I, I want to track the subsequence that I am getting here. So let's look at 1. Since 1 is smaller than 3, I will replace 3 with 1. We apply the second rule. Notice that I have noted down 1 here because 1 is not part of 3 subsequence. 1 is a separate subsequence that we are creating. So let's move ahead. We have 5 here which is greater than 1. So we append. We apply the rule 1. Since 5 is part of 1 subsequence, I have kept a pointer from 5 to 1. 2 is the next element. Is 2 greater than 5? No. We have to follow the rule 2. How will we follow the rule 2? We have to find a place for 2, right? 2 is greater than 1, we have to put 2 after 1, right? 2 is less than 5. Whichever element, the current element is less than, we have to replace that element. So, we will replace 5. Now, I will tell you why we are replacing. I imagine a subsequence starting at 2 and compare it with the one starting at 5. Which subsequence might be larger? Which subsequence will be longer? Obviously, whatever is starting at 2, right? Why? Because... We, if we start at 5, we are missing out on 2 numbers after 2, right? We are missing out on 3 and 4. What if we have elements like 3 and 4 later in the array, which could have been part of the subsequent? We are missing out on that. So, we will ditch 5. We will just use 2. That's why we are replacing. Since 2 comes after 1, we are keeping a parent pointer here. Let's go ahead. 6 is greater than 2, so we append. Since 6 is after 2, we are putting a parent pointer here. Now, 4 is less than the last element. So, rule 2 applies. We have to find, a find an element to replace. We do a binary search and we see that the place it 4 has to go here, right? So, we replace 6 because it is less than 6. So, we also update 4's par parent pointer which is 2. So, basically 4 comes after 2 in the subsequence, increasing subsequence. That's why we have the parent pointer here. Let's go ahead and we are looking at 9 because 9 is greater than 4. We need to append, right? So 9 will come here and its parent will be 4. So, to get the longest increasing subsequence, we 
take the last element from this subsequence array and follow its parent pointers. So from 9 we go to 4, 2, 1. That is the longest increasing subsequence that we get. So let's look at the code. We have initialization in the in the section where we have two more arrays. We have a parent array where we keep track of the parents, parent pointers. We also have an increasing subsequence array where we keep track of the increasing subsequences we are trying to find. Then we also have the length of the longest subsequence. I have these three arrays in an intermediate state. At this point we have already completed looking at elements till 6 and we have also updated the parent variables right so 6 parent is 2 and 2's parent is 1 and 1 doesn't have any parent so the outer loop in this algorithm is basically going through each and every element of the original input array then what we do in this section is we do a binary search we need to find a position for 4 in this particular increasing subsequence array right so using this binary search we would get the position of our 4 that would be equal to 6 so low will be equal to the position of 6 okay there are two things we do here we replace 6 with 4 and we also update the parent array here since 9 is greater than 4 which is the last element in the increasing subsequence array we will be appending 9 here also notice that the length of the subsequence has increased right so we also update the maximum length of the subsequence in length so now to print out the increasing subsequence what we do is we take the last element from the increasing subsequence array okay we uh, traverse its parent pointers okay so 9 4 2 1 this is the section where we do that we initialize a new array LIS array with the maximum length that we have and then we go uh, through the point uh, parent pointers to get the in longest increasing subsequence so this is it that is the algorithm I would like to discuss two more insights into this algorithm the first one is why do we replace if if the next element is small and the second one is why do we need to track a parent right suppose we have two more elements in the input array which is 10 and 7 okay and if you are looking at 10 10 is greater than the last element in the increasing subsequence array right what I would do in that case I will append and I will also update the parent point right what happens when we go to 7 so according to our algorithm it should go ninth place right so why do we do that if we use 7 in place of 9 we hope that we might find 8 somewhere in the later point of the array if we find 8 we get a longer subsequence if we use 7 in place of 9 that's why we do it our hope is to find a longer subsequence and then if I want to get the subsequences what what do I do I take the element and you know, traverse its parent pointers right there are two subsequences in consideration here one which ends at 7 and the other which ends at 10 so let's traverse the one which ends with 7 what we see is we'll get 1 2 4 7 uh, 7 points to 4 4 points to 2 and 2 points to 1 the other sub subsequence in consideration is ending at 10 right so we traverse its parent pointers and we get those so in increase in subsequence array is not at all sufficient to remember the, remember the multiple sub subsequences in consideration that's why we use the parent array so those were the clever tricks done by this algorithm please refer to the wikipedia article for this if if there are any issues in my explanation please update me thank you very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and understood it like and comment the video please 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 subscribe our channel for our new videos that will be coming soon thank you